Hello, my name is Ronald with Indicator Vault, and in this video we are going to go over our supply demand dashboard. And you may have seen another video uh, that we've done going over this indicator, the Supply Demand Pro. And I would uh, suggest to watch that video. It would be a great complement to this. But for this uh, particular one, we've incorporated our dashboard setting into it, as you can see here on the bottom right. And just to uh, give you a quick rundown, you know, supply demand trading is, uh, you know, one of the most popular. It's probably the most foundational piece of how I personally trade. And it's finding just basically these zones to trade off of after they come in touch um, into the zones. And of course, there's other confirmations you could be looking for. But to give a rundown of um, this dashboard here first, let me go over, you know, what all this is and exactly why there's a two part to it, which I have, you know, one hidden at the moment. But here we are on the Euro British pound chart and we can see we had this supply zone created right here. Price comes back down, comes and retest it. And we see this sell signal forming right here on this bar. Now, with what we have here on this, as soon as that would have formed, you would have seen under the Euro British pound, you would have seen the age of one bar. So what this age and what this is showing is as soon as these are appearing, this is what you're looking at. And this is going to incorporate whatever time frame you have on your current chart. In this instance, the 15 minute chart. That's what it's showing up as here. So currently across the board with these pairs, you know, the Australian dollar four bars ago showed a bearish uh, entry. And then here, actually in this latest example, I just wanted to give the example of the, you know, the power of this move here, strong move down. And currently in real time, we can see Two bars ago from one, two, and then this third one playing off of this demand zone gave a buy entry. And if we want to go over to the Australian dollar chart to show that one. Here we are four bars ago right here gave the sell entry. Supply zone is formed. Broke it, retest it, and currently showing some bearish momentum. So this is a great way to navigate any sort of pair, any sort of trades that you want to get into. So let me show this other one. And what this dashboard is showing here is just the current pair that you're on and what these would have been showing on all these different time frames. So for instance, here we are on the Australian dollar, US dollar chart. All the way from the one minute up to the daily, these are what the supply and demand uh, zones are showing, playing off of whatever it has. Because, you know, once you change... You know, for instance, we go to the one hour. We'll see some different zones form, right? So here we are. We can see on the one hour, 25 bars ago, we had this form. And so that move is essentially over. And it's now playing off of this supply zone. So we're just going to wait and see what forms here. And if this is going to be a bearish move down even further. But overall, as we can see, it's very bullish in the sense of the bullish zones are currently in control on the overall time frame from, you know, from the higher time frames down to the lower. 
So that's a quick rundown of the dashboard as far as on your chart. You can change it to have it in different spots. You can have it in the lower left, upper left, and you know all the different corners. Uh, I just prefer to have it in the bottom right and then just alternate between uh, my charts. Because for instance, once I've found the most recent, once I've brought up which pair based on here that you know has the most recent and promising move then i will just go to that chart hide all the other pairs and just focus on the one i think has the most probable trade with it and you know taking all of this into account let's bring up um some more of the settings here you can of course you can alter whatever time frame show up on the dashboard and just like our supply demand pro you have the fuzz factor as far as refining uh you know how wide or how you know narrow you want your supply and demand levels to be you know that can help depending on if you're a swing trader or even a scalper intraday trader if you're trying to find the high and low of a day you know you may want it a little bit lower like a 0.25 or 0.5 if you're more of a swing trader you might have a little bit of a bigger one since you'll typically have a bigger stop loss uh, but again that's just up to your personal preference and style and then of course probably one of the the best things about this is it will mark out all these supply and demand zones oops didn't mean to get rid of that but it has them categorized based on you know the the probability of each one you've got weak and untested verified proven and probably one of my favorite is the turncoat uh as far as you know these are zones that have actually been broken but they still hold a uh, relevance to price in the sense that it's kind of a support turned resistance or resistance turned support uh, concept so price may come back down and retest it uh, before going up all of these different things as far as alerts you know it's got the whole package And then with the other, you can also change these. Um, you can add or change whatever pairs you want. So we can see this will change to the British pound Australian dollar. And some similar settings with this. And of course, even if you don't want one or the other, Let's say you just want this to monitor monitor the pairs and you know you can just never have to add the other one to your chart. And then of course here is you know where that setting is for the location. Again, I prefer to just not have my chart cluttered up like this, but whatever you want to do is totally up to you. And of course with both of these you know, if you want it one to have the fuzz factor different than the other, that could be a perfectly good strategy as well, depending on, you know, getting that visual aid. Because you, you can see here as one is different than the other. A little bit of overlap from the bigger zone factor to the smaller one that I have. Before I end this video, uh, I want to, you know, even just give another indicator that could, you know, complement this as well. Like I said, I, I would suggest watch our Supply Demand Pro video as far as, you know, maybe certain ways to trade with this, ways to view this indicator. Mostly I wanted to cover the benefits of the dashboard as far as monitoring all the payers and, 
you know, it, it, the dashboard is so handy and convenient. You don't have to keep flipping through your chart. Just find the top 10 pairs you like, which is more than enough for any trader. Uh, and you can just watch that in real time, watch it form. And then you find your chart and you can just stay on there instead of flipping back and forth. And then again, just the time frames alone, you know, as we can see here, all of these H1 down to the minute is all showing bearishness. You know, only the, the four hour is currently has a bullish zone in control. But I put on here our logic uh, trend line. I've made a video about this too, but, you know, in for this specific example, I want to point out I've got the zone factor low on 0.25. And we can see here, you know, comes up, touches this supply. We soon see the sell form. And then very soon after that, we've got the our high probability trend line form as well. When you see that it does come up for a third touch, just wicks above it, basically right above this one. And at the moment, currently continuing down. And just to a simple one, as far as not a, a lot of mess on your chart, just, you know, two simple indicators. You can have, you know, a, a strategy right here alone. Wait for it to hit a demand or supply zone. And then for the logic trend line to kick in as well. And even if we put it to its default, the zone may be a little bit wider. Here we go. But still, look at that. Still has this as a supply zone. Trend line coming in. And so far looking good. It's created a new lower low right here for a scalp. I can guarantee you this was a great trade. Even if you went down to the five minute, there's a great setup in here playing off of this trend line in less than an hour. You would have had a new lower low and probably a good, at least maybe three or four to one R and R playing out. So that's just a, you know, very simple strategy that you could use with this, you know, and then monitoring just with the dashboard alone. So, that's our supply demand dashboard, the two parts that come with it. And I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, best of luck trading.